I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, this is Ripper. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, I'm just doing a quick video about how this potentially is a scam. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing I'm thinking that the scam is the credit system, right? So you got credits and stuff you win uh, that from just playing games, but here's the problem without these extra flags are here even with the flag in my last couple games I'm using all these bonuses right you get plus 40% if you didn't have it it'd be even less like what do you what do you get 50% okay whoop you do so I'm getting 90% okay 90% of what now 90 better 90% of a small number is still a, a crappy number right so well the biggest one is uh, let's take a look let me break now break out your calculator here now look at this and so my last battle um, you get if you win, a, if you win, and you do some kind of a decent roll, you're getting about 300-ish or 400,000 credits, right? So if one, just say rounded up, worst case scenario, you get 400,000 credits. But here's the thing. They want you to use all these flags to boost yourself in the game. Now, first of all, look at the, the biggest one is the debt flag. If you're a destroyer like me, you don't want to get detonated because that's apparently an RNG number thing in the game. There's a chance if it hits your magazine or a ship or a certain way, you blow up completely and then the game is over. I mean, you literally are just done. There's nothing you can do. No arguing. You're out of the game. So most people will run that for a destroyer player. Maybe some cruisers and, you know, battleships up to you guys. Uh, I'm just speaking hypothetically. I'm a destroyer player. Uh, if you want to be battleships as well. But battleships and cruisers require even more. And again, this is assuming you have the the uh, main flag right here to give yourself a little bit of boost in credits, right? So, but no, lately, look, look how many I got. I don't have these big ones that they used to give out a lot of. Now it's like, listen, I don't even know why they need to do these bonuses. Just look, give a fixed rate amount of money and the be end of it. I mean, this is not real money anyways. It's used to play the game. But if you've noticed, a lot of these battles, like when you end, or I'll, I'll give you... Um, I'll see. I'll show you statistic later on, but uh, when you win a battle, uh, you get a certain amount of credits, assuming you win. If you lose, you don't get as much, and then of course that uh, depends on modifiers and so forth. But look, look at this. Let's just take out your calculator and do the math. Okay, ninety-six thousand credits for that one flag alone. Let's say you're a battleship or something or whatever that requires this reduced uh, flood recovery time, which is a good. It's not a bad thing. Also, ninety-six thousand. So, let's see here. So the debt flag is ninety-six thousand plus another ninety-six thousand plus uh, 24,000 for flooding recovery time. It's not so bad, okay? What else we're at? We're up to $216,000 now, or credits, that is. Uh, if you want a ramming flag, most people I haven't seen is only 12,000, but here, here's some other fire starter ones which cost a lot, 192 and 144. Okay, let's assume you don't need those. Okay, you start fires just by spamming a lot of HE, I get it. Let's say you just want to run healing flags, okay? So an India Delta flag, which is 120,000. That's it. You say you just want to increase the amount of HP restored. So let's add that one. Most people like that one, okay? You're up to 336. Maybe you want a faster consumable time. Okay, let's add that. 96,000. Okay, let's see that. And I'll even click on these to show you the maximum amount you can take. So we're up to five here. I think the most you can take is eight, right? And most people like an extra set of speed, right? 5% is not bad. So 120,000. Okay, uh, AA is trash in the game, so why not have this to boost your AA at least somewhat, right? So that's another 96,000. Okay, you see, you get the drift here. That's number seven. Okay, let's say the last one. Let's just say you took a random, uh, you want better smoke, or if you're not a battleship. Some people have these uh, skills. Uh, ramming is not bad. So let's say you want to do uh, hydro and defensive AA. Okay, let's just say that. Okay, maximum flags are 120,000. Okay, there we go. With all seven or eight of these, if you ran all eight flags, you are literally spending 768,000 credits. You haven't even serviced your ship yet. And if you guys don't know, the mechanic in the game is when you fire shells or shoot ammunition and there's some kind of resupply fee, I don't know what the algorithm is for that, but basically you're also spending, you know, several hundred thousand, like a few hundred thousand or whatever of just uh, running, um, you know, resupplying your ship. So add that on. You're, you're literally up to almost 900 to a million credits already on flags and that alone. Let's say what, what happens if you don't have the, this bonus or whatever. What are you actually getting? And you're gonna, I'll take a look at a couple videos and show you what my credits are at the end. And what's the point of this? I feel like it, they're just trying to basically scam you out of these inside credits to make you either, one, spend money to get more of them, or ruining the player base because now they can't run any of these things. And they, they basically have to run a literally naked ship with nothing on it. 
Hey, if you ever wanted to make any money to grow this credit exchange, I think there's inflation that's involved in that, not only in the real world, but also in the game world, there's inflation. So essentially what I do is I just demount everything. Uh, I mean, why, why even run in this anymore? Maybe a debt flag, just in case. You know, but that's 96 credit, 1,000 credits. With another 300,000 resupply and so forth, whatever, you're up to 400. I mean, I have to win a battle just to make 450,000 credits, whatever, just to stop from just breaking even. And I don't know, and, and, and that's assuming I have these modifiers. Now, the only thing I can see to make money is if you have this super, this, what is it, the red, the unique bonuses? I mean, they don't hand these out anymore. I mean, they don't give these out. There's not much, to, unless you guys are seeing something different. I, I mean, I don't, and I play this game pretty regularly. Uh, what, what else are they trying to do here? Uh, are, are, what, what's the gimmick? What's the game? Are they trying us to get us to spend more money on fake money? Uh, we already do that with doubloons and research points and all this whatnot. Is this becoming more of a scam-based game where you literally are going to have to spend money on having a terrible experience? Or is this literally paid to win or just stop playing it altogether? I don't know. Again, I don't want to stop playing altogether because I do find enjoyment in th this type of uh, genre because there's not really anything out there that replaces this. So they already know they have a monopoly on it, but they're making you play it in a way where I feel it, it it's just literally very unbalanced i don't know how else to put it and i guess you're going to rely on more skill rather than gimmicks uh at this point uh, because i mean why even have the flags here in the first place why, why even have a flag to give you a boost of not detonating why, why have a flag about ramming i mean just make it just dis simple just remove all this together if you're not going to do anything uh great if you're you're telling me this is pay to win but pay with fake money credits i mean what was the point of this credit system anyways it, it, it's just gauge how much you're supposed to play or I mean, you don't have, like, for example, in Call of Duty, you don't have a credit system in the sense of every time I play, I have to spend money to play one round. You know, it, it's, it, it's an essentially you've already paid for the game. Why add the, all that extra thing? Again, I only use that example because that's what I've seen uh, I have at home uh, playing that for, with my son. He's, he plays it. It seems like he's not complaining too much about it. But it seems like this, and they just rolled the worships just released in a 13 point, what, one or two update video that just came out, and they're a lot they're so praising how great the system the game is. And honestly, I think the, the system needs an overhaul, rehaul, or it's broken uh, for what everything they've done. And I really think they need to look at other games and try to take what, what makes a game enjoyable uh, rather than going through all these little gimmick systems. I know it's a... It, honestly, this doesn't feel like a free-to-play game anymore. I mean, you, and if you want to play, you have to put money out in the sense of doing something to allow yourself to enjoy the game, right? The purpose of a game is for enjoyment. So let me know what you think in your comments below um, about uh, everything going on. Okay, so, um, but before we begin and talk about that, let's take a look at some cool action gameplay here with shooting at the Kitchen Company, full broadside, and Kablaoi. Look at that. Oh, man, it just feels so good to blast people with an Elbing. It's truly a powerful destroyer. I mean, I don't know if I could play anything else, but, man, this Elbing with the new uh, Research Bureau buff is, um, or that new uh, Legendary mod, totally awesome. And what was, uh, without another shot of an Elbing shooting, a nice light cruiser broadside, putting their horizon line right on the center line under the uh, hole, and boom, water line shot, Citadel, he goes down. Totally gratifying feeling, but I digress. Okay, so we did a great job, right? So here's the victory. Um, enjoy it. Uh, take a look at, you know, uh, how we won. Yay, what we do. Yay, we won the game. Okay, now look, you think you're going to uh, score make a lot of money, right? All right, let's take a look at some of the, the stats here. Let's see. Uh, all right, cool. 132,000 damage. Not Nothing to gawk at. Only got two kills, 2,400 free XP. What do you do? Number one in the team. Okay, awesome. Typically how a game should go, right? In your favor. Did a lot of damage, did a lot of uh, you know work as a destroyer player. Um, but look at the money. Holy cow. We lost money. Minus 17,000. And I'm only running uh, a couple flags. And you notice that. 312,000 worth of flags. You know that. The resupply service ammunition, ridiculous. But we only made like... A hundred, was it, 490,000-ish. 4, we only made that much money, even with the modifier, 40%, okay? Totally ridiculous. We we did everything we could, and I'm not whining. I'm just saying this is this this is the reality and the stats of what it is. Oh, I have to show this gameplay footage. Uh, this is uh, one of the games we played on uh, Submarine. As you know, my previous uh, uh, videos, uh, Submarines are killing game. Watch this. Look at, look at this entire flank. One little submarine, the U-190, holding off one, two, three, four, five, six-ish ships, Schlieffens, Napoli's, total, totally messed up, man. This is totally broken gameplay. Uh, this is the way the World of Warships is. Uh, it's the reality, just telling you how it's going to be. Uh, whether you like it or not, it's it's not. it doesn't stop the fact that it's happening, but you guys do what you can with this information. How are you going to counter it? What can you do to get better? Here comes Aroma. What do you do? I'm going to go take on the world and it. 
I mean, entire flank held off by a submarine. Yay, victory for that team. And uh, I, I mean, I was doing my part. I was going around being a destroyer, doing my own thing. But the submarine by itself can literally hold off an entire flank. That's something broken that they should probably address, right? Uh, all right, so let's talk about the victory. So we did 38,000, not much, right? We did, we're Regala, whatever. Hey, whatever. We, we capped, we did, we spotted, we did everything. Lost 172,000. With only 312,000 worth of flags, that's probably three, three flags I ran. And we only made about 312,000. So we're already in the hole. Uh, already starting the game, and I, my the game that even though I won and did okay damage, that that's all we could really make. So you can really really address this again. I, I'm I'm bringing this up as a a way to for either the the community or wargaming or whatever to actually address the situation and talk about it, bring up discussion. Whether something happens or not, the fact is, just like the world, you want to bring it up for a community discussion and talk about it. Is this a wargaming's attempt to just inflate everything and make us spend even more money? Or you just stop playing the game entirely? Again, you don't have to play this game. I mean, I only play this for pure enjoyment, but the enjoyment seems that it comes at a significant cost in the sense of the reason reason uh, being reasonable okay it doesn't make sense that you know in-game currency like look we already spend money buying ships and premium okay that we've already gone that far i mean the fact that you're even allowing that is okay we understand but the fact that you're also requiring us to spend money on seven different types of currency doubloons tokens research bureau points steel coal whatever free xp you, you, it's starting to get a little ridiculous and almost scam like where Look, we've already spent the money to make it to buy your ship. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. It's not free to play in that sense. Like, if I want that ship, I like the architecture, I like the the gameplay, I want to enjoy it. Look at the Michelangelo. I spent time and maybe a little bit of doubloons just to get the starter pack going. Great, I get you got your money's worth out of me and, and so forth, right? However, now you're going to start making it so that the ship becomes kind of useless or worthless. Seems like a scam to me because you, I just put money out to buy to enjoy the game, but then you've just rigged the game so that it becomes uh, unplayable or not rewarding, right? Where's the fun in that? Shouldn't you be adding things to add to the value to the enjoyment of the game? Remember, life is about adding value to something. If you're adding, you're taking away from the people that are trying to add value, it seems like a scam. For example, let's say I play this Michelangelo. I spent, you know, hard-earned money, whatever. I grinded out. I did what you asked me to do to get it. Why aren't you letting me enjoy it? You're actually now taking money away in the form of credits because now I have to resupply this ship that I spent money for. You're going to probably nerf or something like the several ships have been in the past. You're also taking away the enjoyment. You're also adding gimmicks in the game like submarines that take away from the enjoyment because I can't play against it effectively. Uh, so, therefore, you see what I'm getting at. It seems like this seems to be becoming a very um, schemey, scamish kind of thing. And I, I want to address that. I mean, we are the, uh, the people. We are the, the fifth, uh, you want to, what do you want to call it, the fifth checks and balances in the whole game, that we want to be there to raise a flag when we do see it. Otherwise, this runs the gamut of losing uh, the community and the game itself. And I don't want to see that. I want to see this game get better and add value to the community and to people because a lot of people see, find this as a way of uh, maybe venting. Maybe we want to find a way to uh, connect with other community. I've been in a lot of clan battles and a lot of teams that like talking to each other. They like to get together and talk in community, have fun, and, and be a better uh, human being, and they comfort each other. Sometimes people don't ha you know, have uh, maybe um, you know, uh, other as many friends or family that most people would like to. And some people have friends and family that play this game. I know uh, sons and dads that play this together. But if you start to take away that from the people, then I, I think it's kind of scamish and downright uh, just uh, not justifiable. So um, let me know what you're think, uh, you guys think in the comments below. You guys have been great. I appreciate all the constructive criticism. As long as you're nice about it, hey, I'll be nice to you. You be nice to everybody else in the community. And um, I'm proud to be a, a military serving member that defends your life and your freedoms out here. So uh, let me know again what your uh, comments and thoughts are below and if this can be solved or does Wargaming need to really fess up. So hope you guys are doing well. Take care. Cheers. The ship is on fire! Our team has taken the lead. Enemy destroyer blown up. Enemy cruiser detected. Smoke screen set.
Main turret critically damaged. Problem solved, sir. Cruiser. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Smoke generator started. Insight.